Good morning. Hi, good morning. Welcome. I'm not sure if they on there yet or not, but <clears throat> so it's good to have Mary back. It's so good to be back. It's so good to be back. It's, um, sometimes you just have to take a minute and kind of try to rejuvenate. You're still, yeah. you're still not yeah. totally a hundred percent, but I, you're feeling better. I have a problem that I've had off and on for a while now, several years, and ever so often it flares up, but that's okay. I'm doing okay. <laughs> much, much better, and I appreciate all your prayers. I just, um, it feels good to know that I've got people praying for me. I appreciate that. Yes, let me move those comments, Mary, Okay. while we're sitting here. All right. And uh, you can uh, All right. talk a minute, and I will get some stuff out of the refrigerator that I need. Okay. Um, these are some uh, gel pens, erasable pens, uh, that our, one of our followers, uh, Kathleen Tyree, sent us, and uh, she sent Linda package, and and me a package, and that was so sweet of her. It was. We it was so it sweet. Yeah, it's uh, got a lot of colors because we write and then we change our mind. And we <laughs> instead of scratching through it, you can erase it with these pens. So that was real sweet. Um, and we got cards from different ones, sympathy cards, and and um, and just you know, Linda. I don't know if I we ever mentioned it or not, but in July. Well, I should have mentioned it then. In July, we had that Christmas uh, Our celebration. Yeah, yeah, Christmas celebration in July, and uh, we got a Christmas card. <laughs> that it was, was so sweet. It, it, it was, was. It was an order for a cookbook, but she sent it in a Christmas card. She said, "Well, I might as well go with y'all's tradition." I love it. Send a good, she sent a call, Christmas card. That was real sweet. Uh, so. Um, yeah, anyway. we, we use these erasable pens all the time. I used to love, well, I still love pencils, but I've always preferred pencils to pens because you can erase it. And when I found these pens, I literally fell in love with them because I love the color code, and these are different colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, it just was a very sweet gift, and so many of y'all have sent us gifts that we absolutely love. And you might not have seen us use them on air, but uh, if you haven't, you yeah. will, and yeah. we do use them, yes. and we do thank y'all. Linda's um, always been, uh, she's always brought me pens. And I mean, just because she'd buy some for her, she'd sit and bring me one or two. She just loves pens, and I've got um, different kinds, but these right here, are, I really do like the erasable ones. I do, too. So. I do, too. Um, and I'm going to try to keep Where you, you from having to get up so much, Mary. So. I don't mind getting up. Linda, don't treat me like I'm a kid. <laughs> <laughs> not treating you like you're a kid. I'm trying to try to take care of you. I'm I know what she's doing. Take care of you. <laughs> okay, but, uh, we're gonna do the salad something. First? Let me know. I and will I'll get it for you. I will. I will. Yes, I got to uh, Somebody to take care of me. <laughs> we're gonna use one of these little bows. I love these little I bows. I do too. Those are um, those this are the, the two, two cups. cups. Yeah, what the I two thought. cups. I just got some. Um, and thank y'all, everybody that orders from us on Pepper Chef. Um, Absolutely. We we have to be very careful. Um, you know how we uh, present Pampered Chef on here, but we are allowed to show the items and tell that it's Pampered Chef. So most of the items that we cook with are Pampered Chef, and we love the products and we appreciate all your orders and we try to do giveaways accordingly. So Mary and I both have a Pampered Chef Facebook page. Um, so um, we're going to do something today. I've been wanting to do this uh, for a long time. Back in um, I guess it was, what year did Charles Did you want them? me to go ahead and be yeah, major? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I wasn't um, sure. Back in, um, what year was it that Charles what? Lim, we moved to Mississippi in 60, summer of 65. Uh, Mark was born, was he born in January he was of 67? He's a I little got over a year older than Carla, right? Yeah. He got, um, let's see. Um, I don't know what year he was born. He had to have been born in 66. Linnell well, was still in school oh. in 66. Okay. And remember when Charles asked Mr. McLean for Linnell's hand in marriage, he yeah. told her she had to that school. she had to finish school, yeah. and she did. And so I, that's why I know that yeah. Mark wasn't born yeah. until 67. Okay. Carter was born I don't in 68. Know. Okay. So it must have been... Um, 
it must have been 68 or 69 because Grace was a baby when Mark got run over. Y'all heard right. us tell about that right. before. Right. But while he was in the Baptist Hospital in Jackson, Mississippi, he was in there for six weeks. Was it six weeks? I six thought it was weeks. longer than that. Well, it might have been longer than that because was. He, was, he, was yeah. he was in a coma for six yeah. weeks. Yeah. So you're right. It was longer. But uh, there was a walkway across North State Street, and anybody that lives in Jackson, Mississippi knows, I don't even know if it's still there or not, but North State Street is a very busy street. And uh, there was a walkway across it that you could walk over to another building that had a restaurant in it. And I would go over there almost every day and eat a wedge salad and it's just brought back a lot of memories Has and it? so i've been wanting to do a wedge salad i didn't back then and, i didn't eat lettuce i do now but i didn't then and a lot of people don't even don't even like iceberg lettuce you know oh, they, I do. they like they rather have the fancy kind or the romaine or the greens the bitter greens or the curly lettuce or red leaf lettuce but i like iceberg lettuce yeah it's um Sometimes hard to find. Last year I bought several. When I say hard to find, you can find it. It's just not any good. And I bought several last year that I throw that I threw away. Several heads of lettuce that I threw away, and I hadn't bought any and since last year. So I bought. I went to a different grocery store, went to Super One, and I bought two heads that looked like they were good, and um, and cut them and washed them and cut them. So I think that they're going to be pretty good heads. Anyway. I'm making Thousand Island, in case y'all want to know. <laughs> I'm talking, so I need to I need to get some pickled relish chopped. Right. That's okay. You go ahead and talk. Um, I'm, um, I put a half a cup of mayonnaise, and I'm going to put two tablespoons of ketchup. Oh, can you, can you open this chart? Yes, you can. Oh, yes. I tell you what. I've been drinking the little jars of uh, bottles of Gatorade, and I cannot get them open. I Without put, the jar open. I put this jar open, and I want you to know one thing. Easy peasy. It That's just, something that Mama would have loved, Oh, isn't it? Mother would have loved it. And yeah. Holly, too, probably, but yeah. I know I my Mama would have loved it. I sure do. Let me give me a paper towel here. Getting so, um, mm. we keep relish, um, sweet relish, uh, dill relish, but I'm just going to chop some um, sweet pickles. These are little small pickles, and I'm going to chop them. How many How many do we need? Um, uh, relish. Uh, mm, it looks like. For some reason, I'm uh, not seeing it. Oh, uh, it's two teaspoons. Two, two teaspoons. And but we want two tablespoons of uh, ketchup. I know everybody <laughs> loves this noise, don't they? I got the little skinny scraper out there, too. Yeah. So, uh, so, And I, and I chop more than we need, but it don't matter. Did How you, many pickles did you get out? Four. Okay. <laughs> I probably only needed two. I won't waste them, I promise. I won't waste them. So to go with this, Mary, uh, we're going to make some little cheeseburger sliders. Okay. okay. And um, so here's your pickles. And I'll just set that over there. Put that up when I get up. All right, and um, if you need salt and pepper, and I need to get that over here for you. What? So I'm gonna turn the skillet on. Okay. Um, One tablespoon of white vinegar. Oh, you need the sugar too. Yeah. And I know that you can't get the sugar everywhere, um, depending on what part of the country you're um, you're in. But this imperial um, sugar is extra fine. I and love it. It is. If you think it doesn't make a difference in something, it does. I'm going to tell it you, really it does. makes a big difference. If you can get it, buy it. It's worth a little bit of extra money that you pay for it. Um, you're making sweet tea or whatever you're doing mm -hmm. to use sugar. This it, is just dissolved so much faster. It really does. Then um, I don't want to take your recipe away. Okay, I've got a half a cup of mayonnaise, and I've got two tablespoons of ketchup, and a one tablespoon of white vinegar, and now I want one teaspoon of uh, sugar, imperial fine sugar. And Mary, um, I'm gonna let you, uh, um, well, you let me know when you want me to do that. Uh, okay. I wanna put a little bit of that uh, fresh pepper in there. Oh yeah. Um, if you I'll try it, but I, if you need me to do it, I'll do it and I'll set the salt and pepper there. Okay. Sorry that I'm reaching over the camera. Uh, All right, got imperial sugar in there. And now we need two teaspoons 
a sweet relish. I'm going to pack it. Sure was good to come over to Linda's house today. I've been in the house for a week now. And uh, Mary and I, she did get out Sunday afternoon, uh, just for just briefly, yeah. and we got to do something fun. We'll tell y'all about that later. Um, something to do with our new website. So, um, I'll get. Oh, Mary, I didn't get you a fourth. I'm sorry. No, I'll get a, uh, I thought I had out what I needed. I'll get a fourth a teaspoon. I'm so sorry. I'm, every time I think I've got out everything I need, and then I miss something. That's all right. I got it. Uh. I'm just going to go ahead and, and just go ahead and pepper, pepper in there. Pepper in there. It'll be fine. I'm just going to turn it two or three times. This fresh um, ground pepper um, is so good. It smells good. One fourth a teaspoon of salt. And move some of this out of the way. And that is it. And of course, you can put chopped onions or minced onions in here also. I'm just going to stir this with the spatula, Linda. Okay. Yeah, I that's fine. Will be all right. I know I got a fork out, but I think this will make it. It's a thousand dollars. You know, this you can make any kind of dressing that you can buy, you can make it at home. You can, and you know what? What always happens with me, um, you'll buy a thing of dressing. <laughs> Salad dressing. Yeah. What are you laughing at me for? Well, because I know what you're gonna say. Because it's I, I threw away. And you away let a... it expire. Yeah. yeah. And you you say, oh, I've got a bottle. It's a fresh bottle in the yeah. refrigerator. And you open it up, and it's yeah. been expired for six months. I threw away so, some. So if you make it, you won't make it a whole a, a whole bottle. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah. It's fresh, and you don't have to worry about throwing out a bottle that's or are not having it because these are pantry ingredients right right, right. mayonnaise mustard uh, not mustard mayonnaise ketchup relish salt and pepper a little bit of vinegar so um it's um it's just a lot easier to make it and you can make any kind you can make blue ranch. all right now we want to uh, put this in the refrigerator ranch. yes here's the here's the lid mary i'm sorry i should have i told you i was going to help you and now i'm not Don't worry about me so now I'm going to, I've got the pan on over there, the grill pan getting hot, and I'm going to, um, let me put one of these out here. I'm going to move Are this because we're going to need this. You don't need this right now, do you? I don't need it. Okay. Right now, we're not, not going to need that for a little while. I'll just set that over here. So, um... I'm going to weigh these out here, and you can just okay. press them in, into little patties if you okay. want to. I think I've got these about two ounces. Do you use your scales a lot? You know what? I'm fixing to start because I'm start. I'm going to start a little diet, try to lose some weight. These I are, think that will uh, help me. So These are excellent scales. Um, I, can, wanna, I want you to show me how to use them. I got some. I just haven't okay. used them. So um, it, it's got just a little the tone button right there. Okay. And, uh, and you just press it to turn it off until it goes blank. Okay. And then you turn it back on by just pressing it. Just give it a second till it goes to zeros. I'm sure they can't see that. Um, and then the unit tells you what whether you're doing ounces or pounds okay. or grams. Okay. So we're going to take it back to ounces because okay. that's what we want. So how many ounces you I want? I think the patty should be about, and we got a hamburger press, and I didn't get it out. But anyway, Pepper Chef does have one. But we're going to. Is that about how you big them, or, or? Yeah, they're going to shrink a little bit. Yeah. The, you saw the little size of the little sliders, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's about yeah. right. Well, um, um, I've always uh, mashed it down a little bit in the center. Yes, yes, that's so, a great tip. Thank you, Mary. You mash it down in the end time you remember. Press it down in the, not in the hole, but press it down in the middle. Because when this hamburger meat cooks, 
it'll it's going to puff up, and that will, and when it puffs up, it'll be it'll be the same um, level as your other meat. Okay, did you want this weighed after? I, are you already no, weighed? No, no, I think it's okay. Just put it on that uh, paper plate there. I got my grill pan hot, so it's not going to take these long at all to cook. And uh, I'm doing I'm doing two each now. If you've got somebody, they may be a little over two ounces, but most of them is about two okay. ounces. If you've got somebody that's got a hungry man appetite, well, you can fix them three or four or five or six, however many you want. But these are perfect for mm -hmm. kids. Yeah, they are. And they're also good if you just want something light for lunch. Like a lot of times Mike and I will just cook us a corn dog for lunch. And um, these are perfect for um, a late, like an early lunch or late lunch. I used to make them for my kids. <laughs> I used to make them for the grandkids. I'd pick them up from school, Nathan Brady. Yes, and they loved them, didn't they? They loved them. Did, did they like them. them with cheese or did they like oh, them plain? Oh, yes, they liked it with cheese. And uh, I'd fix them too. I mean, I really went to, uh, to great lengths to uh, do it up good for the kid, for the grandkids. They, um, um, I'd have them wrapped in foil. I'd wrap them up in foil because it's, um, I'd have to go early to get in line to pick them up. And um, I'd have them wrapped in foil, and then I would wrap that in a, in a cup towel and then put it in a, in a insulated uh, a lunch bag. Like, Mary, Mary goes all out. So, so they're still hot when I pick them up. <laughs> um, Mary, while you finish those, um, I think they saw me do this the other day, but I'm going to cook. I've got four strips of... Um, Oscar Mayer center cut bacon here, and I'm gonna cook this in the microwave because we're gonna crumble this to go on top of on the, the salad. salad. Okay. Yes. So I'm gonna do that while you finish this, and uh, or do this while you finish that, and um, and then the grill pan will be ready for us to put the hamburgers in there, and we'll move the camera over here so they can see what we're doing. Did you put the pepper on these after you put it in the scoop? I didn't notice you. Um, it I, looked like it. I did. Yeah. Okay. I. When I fixed that earlier, I did the scoop out, and then I kind of go by salt and pepper each one. Okay. Um, well, I, I wonder because each one of them's got pepper on it, and I yeah. usually when you put it in there before you make the patties, it's you know all mixed up. But I probably should have done that. Well, she that's okay. Pepper. No, that's okay. It just it assures you you got pepper on it, and, and you know Linda, you know, you know she likes I pepper, I'm, so I'm gonna, she won't make sure these things are I'm pepper. Definitely going to have some pepper. On did it. you put salt in it? Yes, I did. Okay. And you can just salt and pepper to taste. Um, if you want to add, um, like, some cayenne or if you want to add other seasonings, by all means, feel free to do so. Uh, we just don't usually add too much seasoning. Do you add other seasonings? Well, I do, I do sometimes. I put Worcestershire sauce on them okay. when, they're, co when okay. they're cooking. I do. Um, and that would be good, too. Yeah. It would. I've used liquid smoke on them. Oh, you know something? I thought about that, but I forgot then. I thought about putting some liquid smoke on it, but um, I am going to use it on something else I'm going to be cooking soon. Okay. And I won't say what that is because okay. that's going to be a surprise. But, All right. You're um, going to surprise me too, huh? <laughs> I'll surprise you by using something besides salt and pepper. <laughs> My, I got a, I got a real uh, funny stomach, so I have to be careful on my spices. And uh, oh, I was gonna show something, but I can't show that either. Okay. <laughs> I can't show it. Okay. We got a bunch of yeah, these fall products coming out. I'm and just, we can't show them until September the first. I'm just wanting to show them so bad too. Me too. I I tried my best to see if I could get a couple in, but they. Are we me ready? Or you got the skillet ready? Um, I've got. I think it's probably hot enough. Okay, well, I can wash my hands. You move the camera, Poe. Okay, you don't mind. And uh, there's some more in that bowl, too, Mary. Did you want me to keep making them? Yeah, I'm going to oh, make all in the bowl. Right. I thought the four is what you're making for now. Now, I'm going to cook what's in the bowl. Oh, okay. Well, and here we are moving around the camera again. Well, let, I do that all here, the time. here, I'll just sit right here. Okay, you got four more over here. Okay. Uh, that's all right. Uh, here. I don't know if that I just I just washed my hands again, but these are 
I kind of have to pat them flat because they shrivel up yeah, to they too will. small. They'll, they'll come up to be like a little knot or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> and then I, you just put your little hole in it. <laughs> I had some extra paper plates out. So I didn't have to get back in the pantry. Oh, did you? And I was, I was looking for him, and Mike put it back in the pantry. And he put it back in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mike keeps things picked up around here. I'll tell you for sure. I, I need him to go to my house and follow me around a few days. <laughs> tell you. Well, You'd be surprised how just little things helps and yeah, it, it, around it, the house. My son came out last night, and I told him, I said, would you take the trash out for me, Chuck? And uh, he said, I sure will, Mama. He said, I'm sorry. I, uh, he forgets sometimes. and But he said you, he thinks I got to have more trash than anybody in the world. But you know what? It just takes it. You dirty a lot of trash when you're cooking. When you cook, you have it takes trash. a lot of. Absolutely do. And I cleaned the refrigerator out the other day and threw a lot of sauces and things away that you know how you use a little bit out of it and you don't use it all, but yet it stays in there too long to use again. I need to start keeping a better eye on that. Much stuff as I throw it away. Pickles don't go bad, though. I don't guess. No. I don't think I ever throw pickles away. Because I have sweet and kosher and dill and all kind of pet, pet, uh, pickles. Now, I showed this the other day, but um, on this bacon, it's going to need to cool a little bit before we can crumble it. But if you just have just three or four strips or four or five uh, it's so easy to just cook it yeah, in the microwave. I always uh, and I not cook always, it. but a lot of times. It's going to depend on your microwave with the wattage. Ours is 1100, but I cook it two minutes and 25 seconds, and then take it out, turn it over, and then cook it another 20 something seconds. Is that is that about what you cook it? Now, what did you say? Two twenty five. Two twenty five, and then I cook it another about 20 seconds or so. I I start with two minutes. Um, I don't remember what I do after then, okay. but I do have to do it Let again. Let me get this mayonnaise put up. This. But I'm usually cooking more than four strips at a time. Down. Yeah, if you got a lot to cook, it's better. It takes more. It. And, I, and I, I, I always just put a paper towel on top of mine instead of a paper plate. But I guess oh, you, you, you yeah. can use a paper towel. I just put a paper you towel on it. You can use a paper towel either. Either one. Probably would be cheaper than using a paper plate. Okay, um, Mary's got these beautiful patties made out, and we're fixing to move the camera and move over here to the. Um, yeah, I gotta wash to my hands skillet. again. Okay, so just stick that over there, Mary. And I'm gonna let you adjust that if you don't mind. Okay. To see where it needs I to be. I will do it. It may need to be. Oh, don't know here where you're cooking. Oops. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay, my skillet, my grill pan is hot. I put just a little bit of um, Western oil in it, vegetable oil. Probably actually don't need to turn this down a minute. You can hear it sizzle. Oh, yeah, and that I love to hear it sizzle. And then I'm going to I think it should maybe just cook four at a time. You think? Whatever. So they don't crowd. Yeah. Because I can't get all eight in there. Right. So we'll have to do two cookings anyway. Yeah. Um, this will be okay. Let's sit now just while we're cooking that morning, Mary. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use my uh, grill press to put on here. And we're gonna start cooking this. It's not gonna take long to do it. Um, do you want to watch them and me do the buns? I can. Okay. It doesn't matter. I just um, this right here gets hot. Yeah, and you might have to turn that down if it gets too hot. I've got a spatula out there for you, uh, and I've got that paper plate there for you to set this on when you're Okay. Hot. Okay. Yeah, you everybody's, gonna, everybody's gonna say I'm both being bossy. 
That's all right. So, we, are, <laughs> we are not being bossy when we're doing something. We help each other. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, so please don't overthink it. When I tell you something. I don't take it as being bossy. That's what. That I'm bossing her, or when she tells me something that she's bossing me, we're helping each other. I don't know who that was calling. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to uh, turn this down a little bit. I'm going to turn it on three. I um, seen on uh, Facebook this morning, wow, popping, where uh, today is National Cousins Day. I don't know. I don't keep up with all that stuff always, but um, this made me start thinking about our cousins. And how much fun we had growing up with them. Um, you know, nowadays, cousins live states apart from each other. And I think that's what makes them not be as close. But when we grew up, uh, our cousins all lived within, if we didn't live in the same town, it was within a 25-mile radius. So we got to see them um, pretty often. And, and um I guess that's why we're so close, just because we got to see them often. We're with them all leave pretty often, and keep them all live right beside us. So all the cousins on the Pinkston side would come to uh, come to see Pete them all and Pete them all. So we rock next door to them. We've seen them too. Now, do you check these before I turn that down to three? Just whatever you have, you want to do it here. I ran in there because I thought there was something on my neck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I think what it was is I think that strap pinched my neck and it uh, felt like it was something on it. Yeah. So I ran in there real quick to see. But since these are so little, they're not going to take as long to cook. No, it's not going to take long to cook at all. And what the uh, little flatter bones that we're using today is the uh, sweet Hawaiian. They um, come from Sam's or Walmart. You can get them. You can see they're like, what, about two and a half? Mm -hmm. three they're inch really buns. good buns. And I'm going to use my spreader and just put a little butter, and I've got my skillet here getting hot. Do you like yours, uh, Bram? I do. Yes, I do. I do. I like mine toasted. I sure do. Michael, most of the time, he'll just warm ours in the microwave, but I like them toasted. These are real good little slider mm -hmm. buns. Now, is, that's called Hawaiian buns? Yeah, that's uh, what, uh, yeah, yeah, that's what uh, I bought too for the kids. Sweet Hawaiian yeah, Sam yeah. slider yeah. buns. Yeah, that's what I use. And there's several different brands you can buy. Yeah. Uh, doesn't have to be this brand, but uh, that's just what I... I'm going to turn my burner back on medium. Okay. It just, it was so hot to begin with that it's... Yeah, it doesn't take long to it heat doesn't, that. Um, no, it don't. Once this pan gets hot, pan. it gets hot. It's it's hot. It stays hot. And I've got my little cheese pieces out okay. there. So once they get done, of course, well, you got to cook the other ones yeah. first. They'll probably all fit in there after they're done, right? In what? In, in the pan in here. Oh, and okay. We can put the, put cheese, the cheese on, on them it? to melt. Okay. Um, Let's see if this bacon is ready. So you crumble. don't put the cheese on there when you take it off while it's hot, or you think? Um, you can. You can put them on there while it's hot. It probably would be a good idea. <laughs> I'm just thinking, if it's sitting over there, what? They, you know what, we ought to time these because these really have not taken long at all. No, um, I don't know it, what time I'll tell you why, why that it's not taking long. It's because this press is on top yes, of it. it it's pressing much, it down and faster. it cooks it much faster. Absolutely. And Mary, that skillet is not heavy. A lot of times our viewers will ask us if a product that we use is heavy. The skillet is iron, but it has the removable um, handle. Handle, but it's not heavy. But the the this real press, press is, is what's heavy. Yes, yeah, it's heavy, but it's manageable. But it's we not, don't want these this uh, meat to. Um, we don't want it to be too too overcooked. To overcook, that'd be tough. So whenever you think they're done, we'll is this take a plate them. you want to put them on? Um, yeah. Linda, I think I you think they done. Need the bigger one, Mary. Okay. Take the bigger one and give me the little one. 
Now, Linda, I don't want to not. I don't want them not to be done. Well, I think they are. I think they they're, are. They're very, very because they will finish cooking some. Seen. That's one thing about hamburger patties. They uh, are steak. They cook a little bit longer after you uh, take them up. So I'm going to. Um, she's uh, got cheddar slices, and she and she just quarter. You just quarter these slices, yeah, Linda. Just, I made four pieces out of one slice. It's just cheddar from um, Walmart. Slice cheddar. If you want to slice your own, you can do that. But this is really good cheese. Yeah. And uh, they keep it fresh. I'm just putting it on top and, and let it sit there a few minutes, and then I'll put the other meat in there. So I'm, I'm doing the bacon for the salad. Yeah. I'm getting this. Uh, now, Linda, do you uh, go through this and get some of this out before you put the others in there? That's up to you. you I usually on? do. But you, I know you don't have to, but. I'm going to. You want something to put in here? Well, I'll, I'll get a paper towel. Here, I just, you can use that. I mean, you can use a paper towel and just put it on that. That's what I meant. You know how um, hamburger meat um, it gets sticky, and I want it, and, and it might not get make as prettier lines on the meat. Right. You want the grill box on there. Yeah. So I'll get a pretty nice little lunch. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm going to check my bones here. I haven't actually started toasting yet. But they're getting warm. They're getting pretty close to getting toasted. Do you toast yours on both sides? I warm it on the on both sides. Yeah, on I just, toast yeah. it on the on inside the, line. The, and then the side the middle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do. Yeah, I do too. Okay. So did you see on Facebook the set that this is... Uh, Cousins, um, nice for Cousins Day. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't see that. I seen that this morning, and I, it made me start thinking about all our cousins. Um, we have some we, sweet cousins yes, on both sides yes, of our family. Do. When we were at the Lee reunion, um, every, every family is different, and the dynamics are different, and there are those of us who are pretty big bulk personalities. <laughs> And um, not pat myself on the back, but we're, um, and then there's there's ones that always defer to somebody else. Right. And so many of our lead cousins are like that. Yes, yes, they they're, are. They, mm -hmm. They're just so sweet and would always defer to somebody mm -hmm. else. Right. And um, everyone pitched in so nice. Offered I mean, help. Uh, we have four every cousins family. with COVID right now, too. Yes. And we've been praying for them. And I thought about JC. Him who, and his wife. Who, him, they both have COVID, and mm -hmm. Donna and her husband, I don't know if we're supposed to be saying this or not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. But um, JC and is the one that bought all of the meat for the reunion. Yes. yes. We know what food costs. Right. And he spent right. a lot of money right. buying all that meat. Right. His son and, and his it. son's wife Great. cooked it. Yeah. But JC come up tonight. He'd already paid his part. The, his cousin's um, part. He came up to me at the reunion and asked me, "Did I need any more money? Was yeah, everything right. covered?" Okay. That's just how. Yeah. That's how they yeah. are. Yeah. You know. And I think about on your 70th birthday party. I know. I Nathan know. and Randy mm -hmm. bought and cooked yeah. all, all the all meat, meat from Mary's party. Would not we take a dime too. for us. Yeah. We sent them a gift card, yeah. but they wouldn't take a dime from us for doing it. And and not only, I mean. The, the money part is something, but cooking it and serving it oh, is yeah. a job, too. Right. We know because yeah. we've done yeah. it. It, so was a, it just was a big, uh, we, one of Bobby's cousins um, told, uh, told me, he said he had never been to a birthday party as much, uh, enjoyed it as much as he did mine. He said he had just, he just um, enjoyed being there and it just, it was like almost like a reunion or something. It was because it was some of our friends, church friends, friends, long ago Childhood friends, friends. Child, yeah. Third, and, we even had third cousins there. Yeah, and, and cousins on both sides. Nobody was in a hurry. Mm -mm. We had a beautiful candy table, so all the kids were happy. Yeah. With a lot of different kinds of candy, and then we had a cake table. And then oh, Linda, I met herself on them cakes. I mean, beautiful cakes. She got a bunch of orders. I, then they tasted that cake, some of her cakes. They she sold some 
some uh, cakes from it. Yeah, I sure got, did. Got orders from tasting of them. I forgot how many she has. It had so many different flavors. Well, I wanted to do something different, and you've done that for my party. Um, I wanted to do something different instead of just having one cake and maybe two flavors. We, we do di different flavors on tiered cakes. We've done that a lot of times. But I want to have something different so there would be a variety for people. You know, because not mm -hmm. everybody likes vanilla. Same. Not everybody right. likes chocolate. It was so all we did, too. We did a lot of different different kinds. Yeah. So you'll see that my buns are, are just lightly toasted. And I just turned them over on the other side. And I'm going to turn them right back over and just turn the skillet mm -hmm. off. And take it off the skillet, actually. Take think. it off the fire, actually. This um, holds its heat real well, the titanium mm -hmm. does. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's going to stay warm when okay. we get that over there. So well, it's almost ready. So the meat. Once we get that done and then um, get the cheese melted on those, then we'll get, um, what are you, what are you going to, are you going to eat it as a sandwich? Or are you going to No, eat I'm just going to eat the, the meat. Salad? I'll eat the meat and the cheese. Okay. But I'm not eating bread. I'm trying to cut down a little at a time. So I'm not going to eat bread. So uh, I've will, stopped drinking my Cokes. I haven't drank the Coke in over a week. <laughs> I know that's hard. Linda had, Linda's been quit drinking um, cold drinks for years. But not me. I had to have my Coke. That was so hard for me to do. Mike quit probably a year and a half before I did. He drank Diet Dr. Peppers and I drank Diet Coke. Sister Jean is the one got me drinking Diet Coke. Is that right? She used to pick me up when I, I worked at the, the, the uh, Brandon Hospital and she would have a cooler in her car with Diet Cokes and I just thought they were the horriblest tasting things I'd ever <laughs> they tasted. They are to me too. <laughs> but I started drinking them and I'm telling you, I drank them and now I drank she a did. lot She drank a lot of probably Diet Cokes. Probably at least every six day. a day. And I've never done that on Cokes. And um, Mike kept saying, when you're going to quit drinking them, when you're going to quit drinking them. Well, now, we're not trying to tell y'all to quit drinking Cokes. <laughs> no. Um, I finally made up my mind, and if there's one thing y'all know about Pinkston kids, when we make up our mind to do something, it's a done deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I quit the Cokes. I quit them before and picked them back up again. But I hadn't drank one over a week now. But I only drank like one a day. I didn't drink a lot. Well, I was out working, and mm -hmm. when it was hot and you yeah. get in the car, I kept a cooler. And the first thing you want to do is reach for yeah. a Diet Coke, and yeah. I did. I mean, I drank them. I drank them like water. But uh, now, mostly all I drink is water. I fix a uh, thing of tea probably about once a month or once every three weeks. I'll pit, fix a pitcher of sweet tea. But I'm um, drinking some Gatorade. That zero, you, the zero calorie. Like when it's cold, well, it's good. If you ain't got nothing else, you ain't got a Coke to drink. <laughs> I drink water. I'm trying to drink four bottles of water a day, and I'm doing pretty good with it. But um, uh, I needed something else to drink, so I, I asked my daughter, little Linda, I said, what can I drink? And she said, the zero calorie Well, I never Gatorade tried that, in the little bottles. In the little bottles. In the little ones. Mm -hmm. Somebody gave me... I wanted some water, and this was somewhere where I was at working, and they gave me a bottle of flavored water, and I just did not like it at all. Probably because I had in my head I was wanting some cold well, water. I was, I forgot which state I was in. I was out of town working, and I was like Linda. I was so thirsty. And I went in there and picked up the bottle, and I got in the car and opened that up, and I, I I didn't spit it out. It was flavored water, but I thought it was was something in the water and grew it. <laughs> I looked at that bottle. And it was some kind of flavor in it. I said, "It ain't no way I could drink this stuff." And a lot of people drink it. A lot of people I drink know, it, but, but not I don't. Me. I don't. I just well, it was a surprise. Water. It yeah, was a you surprise. Wasn't to me. I wasn't it. expecting yeah. it. And I thought it was ruined. It. I thought something was in that water. So I think these uh, sliders. Are done. They're done. Okay. I think they are. Look, glasses fogged up. Yeah. I think they are. Okay. All right. Uh, you have to just put on the same plate. Uh, yes, you can put it on the same plate. Oh, I would put a slice of tomato to go with the hamburger. Oh, okay. Got 
all about that. I didn't get my. You got your. This plate might not hold it all. A to B. I'm really, well, I'm really come losing it. I was going to slice some little cherry tomatoes. Oh. Well, the, this plate here, Linda, ain't going to hold all either. Okay. Well, um, so, anyway, just did you find another one? All right, you didn't slice enough cheese. Is it all right, or do you want cheese on all of them? Oh, I thought. I don't have to have cheese. No, no, I'll get some more. I thought I had enough pieces. Just two. Well, I can I can break it up for you if you just hand me a slice. I'm gonna take this off of the burner because it's still okay. hot. Probably I started it and forgot what I was doing. I, I mean, I was talking to you. See, I have the piece here. I just never did break it. Okay. All right. Did you want this back on the stove to melt that cheese, or, or do you have a cover? Or something you can't put the grill on top of it. No. Um, well, that probably would melt if you put it back on there, Mary. But All right. It doesn't have to be melted. Well, it needs to be warm because it's, it's cold. I don't know. Okay. These are melting, these these here, because they've been on okay. there a few minutes. Okay, well, we can probably go ahead and fix a these, little, fix yeah, these fix a little and, thing. But I've got to cut some of these tomatoes. All right, well, let me just move I the guess camera. we're going to move back over there. I'll move the camera back over here. I forgot, this is something I totally forgot to do. And I'm going to do You're it You're just going to slice the little tomatoes? Yeah, I'm just going to do it off camera a bit. Well, bring it over here. We'll get it. We'll slice it. Uh, you putting this, the little cherry tomatoes on the salad. Is that right? I am. I'm trying to get that. in here for you Mary okay. and this is what um, yes, that's a nail calling do you do you think no. we need to get it no maybe not make sure nothing's wrong okay what you want me to do you want me to do the tomato um well yeah I'm gonna get the lettuce in here and this just... is not the tomato knife but that's okay oh no it's not let me get it I'm sorry Mary. I'm sorry <laughs> We don't, got, you don't have to have a tomato knife, but we do have one. I got that knife out for myself. Yes, you did. And, uh, it is just unbelievable how you think you've got everything ready, and then you miss a half a dozen things. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. <laughs> you want these thin? Yes. I do. And we're not going to peel it. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, it is a surprise. <laughs> I always peel tomatoes. I heard somebody say the other day, Mary, it was so funny. She said, y'all think we don't read the comments, but we do. Yeah, and this well. lady said, I am 60 years old and I have never seen anybody peel a tomato. <laughs> you never lived at the dog's house because yeah. we peeled tomatoes yeah. here. Well, we did when we was gr growing up. Remember, Mama yeah, would. Did. Mama would peel the tomato, but they was fresh tomatoes, and they was real easy to peel. Okay, here's the lettuce, and I'm gonna get those tomatoes sliced real quick, and then we'll get the pickles. Um, on the forks. Now I'm gonna try something I'm not in the habit of doing. Yeah, I told y'all I was gonna take this <laughs> off camera. <laughs> I was um, trying to be very careful not to cut my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna use your mat here, okay. Mary, instead of getting sure. another one out. Sure, I'm, I'm through. probably. Are you through with tomatoes? Yeah. I'm gonna use this one then. Yeah, it's it it really cuts good that tomato knife. Now, normally, the way I do these little tomatoes, I don't normally cut them this small. But normally, when I do them, I'll put them, I'll cut them in half and put them in a little bowl 
and salt and pepper them yeah. and kind of let them sit in their own juices. I've never done that. And it really, it really does make them good to do that. Okay. So you can just sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper over these, Mary. It's right here. Okay. And wipe my hands off. Sometimes these peelings on these little tomatoes are tough. Y'all see why I was going to do this off camera? <laughs> I knew this was going to be tedious. Well, are you, um, I'm going to wait till you get enough done. I don't want to re-salt. Okay. You, my pepper, I can see. You sure cut them in little pieces? I want them in little ones. Okay. I, just, I just think okay. it would be cute. I, that's fine. That's always been Linda's thing is little bitty uh, what nots and little bitty pins and everything she liked little little things I'm putting this knife down here to keep this from slipping is what I'm yeah, doing. I know what you're doing I don't want to you don't want to put your hand down get there. in the danger zone <laughs> not like me I'd be holding it in my hand yeah I'm I don't trust myself um I always think that things go full circle. <laughs> when you start getting older, you start losing <laughs> losing dexterity like your little child again. So I I do things a little different than I used to do. I do a lot of things different than I used to do. Well, I do too. Not, not a few. I do a lot. Okay, that should be enough for our yes, salads, think, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Let me get these out of the way. Did you want to go ahead and salt and pepper the our slices? Yes, or? you can. I don't want to. Drop this knife down your back. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to. Oh, I got the lettuce out. So let me get a platter. Okay. And let's. Um, this platter is clean. So we'll kind of scoot this out of the way here. Okay. And I'm going to put some pickles. And some skewers, excuse me, Mary. Um, is that you don't really fancy it. Clean, you don't right? really fancy it up. Give me a paper towel, please. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. I don't want it to wet my buns, so these are little baby deals, little yeah, kosher deals. I told y'all I like little stuff. I had a little jar of a petite kosher peels, peels, pickles the other day. I ate some with my, um, what was I eating? I think it was, it was chicken breast, I think. I love pickles. I don't care what kind they are. I just love pickles. I guess we grew up with, whoops, I kind of messed that one up. Okay. But I'm going to let you fix the platter, Mary. I'm just going to. So you ready for me to get the buns and the, or are we going to do the lettuce first, aren't we? Yeah, I got the lettuce there. Okay, well here, let me, oh. You've already cut it in half, haven't you? I've cut it in half. It just needs to be cut again. Yeah, okay. So we've been praying for all the little kids going back to school. <laughs> she cut it and she washed it and cut it in half. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. tell you. Um, it, it was slippy when I picked it up. All the children that are back in school always every year at the beginning of the school year um, pray for the kids because we know that we need God's protection on all of our little children. Okay, now what are we going to do? Just this? Gonna cut, cut it in half. Cut it in half again, yeah. And if you need to take that one off, you can take the, the outer leaf off. Now these are wedges. Cut so that, cut that wet that stem off. Is that one got one on it? Not really much. Not, no, it, I think it, most of it went on the other one. Okay. So, all right. Um, do we, are we going to have room for both heads on there? I don't just think so. One? Why don't we okay. just put one? Okay. This still got a little water in it. Had to probably dry yeah, out get some flavor paper towel. Yeah. And I'll get the salad dressing out and I'll get the buns and the stuff over here. Get some of that water where that lettuce was. 
Yeah, I know. I, I knew it would do that, Derry. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. You just I always use paper towels to absorb the, the water. And we're just going to drizzle um, salad dressing over this yeah. and put some bacon bits and tomatoes over it. I'm going to get a spoon. And um, I'll, move this, I'll move the lettuce. Okay. If you want to... Um, Oh, no, you, well, you're not going to eat mustard. You're not going to eat any mayonnaise or mustard or the bread. I don't think so. But um, just but we'll make more. Are you going to mix a couple do you want, with? What do you want on yours? Mayonnaise or I want mustard? Mustard. Yeah. We'll just put this back in the refrigerator for this minute. Okay. You ever pick up ketchup or or mustard and start to squeeze and he, and before you shake it yes and it, yes. if you do that it, it's watery it comes out so you need to shake these first absolutely okay you want mustard on both buns yeah just put it on both buns get some Did of this stuff out of the way here so Thank you got room to work I've got enough no, we, mustard on that. We've already put salt and pepper on everything, so we I don't didn't. have to do that again. Didn't quite get enough mustard. Do you want me to make two or just one? I don't want bread on mine. Well, um. You want me to go ahead and make two? Yeah, you can make two just for the presentation. Okay. And um, I've got some toppings here. You want mustard on both of them? Yeah. Um. I was, I was uh, spreading mustard and asking her at the same time. You ever done that? I did. That's well, you probably um, knew me well enough to know I was going to want mustard. Um, I don't know if I've ever told this before or not, but um, I think we've mentioned the snack bar. The snack school, school snack yeah. bar. Yeah. We didn't eat at the snack bar. We either took our lunch or most of the time... Or if Mama gave us money, you would get a pack of tater chips or something to eat. Tater chips and a Snickers candy bar. That's what and I did. So we didn't spend money at the snack bar. But those hamburgers always smelled Smith. so good cooking. And I was in Pennsylvania. I was in my traveling. And I was, I think I was around Allentown. And I spent the night there. I told somebody the other day I spent the night in Allentown. I spent the night there. And I went to eat at this diner. And they had, you want to put a piece of tomato on it? Oh. They had um, hamburgers cooking, and you oh. could smell it. Uh. When I walked in the door, my mind was back at the Nacogdoches yeah. High School snack bar, and it was that mustard is uh, what yeah. it was. It smelled so yeah. good. And um, do we want to put the pickles on top of that, or or what? Yeah, we'll put a pickle and on top. And do you still need something to pull that um Okay, let me move this. I'm just trying to get this where you can see it. Now, I've got several different things that you can put on top of your salad. I'm going to get a spoon for you to... Okay. Um, Rizzle it. Yes, and I've got blue cheese. Okay. A lot of people don't like blue cheese. As picky of an eater as I am, I love blue cheese. I can eat it. It's not my favorite. Linda, did you want to drizzle it on there? Or did you want me to? You can. And then we'll, you'll, oh, i got to get the bacon over here. And you want to put your toppings on as soon as you put your dressing on so it'll, it'll stay on. Now, um, you know, a, a boiled egg doesn't uh, generally come on this, but if you wanted a boiled egg, you could put a boiled egg on it. You can put, um, we're going to put bacon bits, and um, do you want blue cheese? Uh, no, but you can. Yeah. Um, we'll just put a few on there. Okay. And do you want any of the cranberries or the tortilla strips on it? I don't, but okay. you can, but no, whatever no, you we, want we, on won't, it. we won't put that on there. I'm just going to put a, a few of these. And you want some of those And tomatoes. some tomatoes, yes. That looks good. And probably should have fixed this on you one can put, platter and presented it on another. <laughs> <laughs> and like she said, you can use cranberries, almonds, tortilla chips, Croutons. whatever. Yeah, 
croutons, whatever you uh, now. If I was if I was eating bread, I'd eat croutons or those chips because uh, okay. and the cranberries. I like the cranberries too, but I'm just choosing not to for right now. Okay, so we're going to um, get this out of your out of your way, Jesus. I'm gonna let you taste it. Oh, you're not going to you're No, gonna I'm not going to taste it now. Mm -mm. Okay. So, I'm just going to cut off a little piece here. I'm going to try to get the camera a little closer so they can see it. I know it's good. It is good, isn't it? I love that uh, iceberg lettuce. It's mm -hmm. crispy. Brings back so many memories yeah. with this salad. Yeah, I don't. I used to wouldn't eat lettuce, but um, I started eating lettuce. Thank I was, Jesus, y'all are already that's Lord bless it. <laughs> it was um, in the late when I was my late twenties before I ever before I started ever eating lettuce. I wouldn't eat it as a kid. I wouldn't eat tomatoes either. Only way I would eat a tomato would be on a bacon tomato sandwich, and it would have to be the only fresh tomatoes, not any other time of the year, and very thinly sliced, but I would eat it that way. I know that's good. I'm going to eat me a piece of meat and cheese and, and a salad. And you cooked them perfect, Mary. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Really, thank you. really good. See, that's about, it's just a nice lunch. doesn't take long at all to cook that meat. You've seen how long... Not and there's there's more in this little sandwich than what you think. It'll I mean, it's several bites. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. So we hope that y'all want to get in the kitchen and fix something really simple. And um, won't take you as long as it did us. No, it won't. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Definitely won't take you as long as I did. You you didn't cook these, but just a very few Not minutes. Not very each. long. Not very Have long. Have your cheese Five ready minutes, to put on them if you're yeah. going to do cheeseburgers. Yeah. And you could do other sliders. You could do like a chicken slider with a I did ham and cheese. Chicken. I did you ham do, and cheese sliders. Right. Yeah. Ham and cheese. What else could you do? Uh, Roast beef. Hi, you could do a meatball. You could put a meatball and put meatball. Pr uh, Parmesan yes. cheese on it and on so the sliders. There's just a lot of varieties yeah. that you could do. Um, you could do. You could actually just do grilled cheeses. Yes. You know, yes. little kids love yeah. grilled cheese, and it's perfect for little fingers, little mm -hmm. hands. And, um, and it's perfect for big hands, too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all for joining us. We hope that y'all will keep sharing us, keep telling your friends about us, keep following us, keep praying for us, and count your blessings. And, um, and, and thank you for your prayers. I appreciate it so much. I'm on the men, and um, I'll be back in my kitchen on Thursday. <laughs> we, we love y'all. We love y'all. Don't yeah. forget to go to our other pages and see what you might need, and check out our giveaways. Right. We love y'all. Thank you. Count Bye. your blessings. Bye-bye.